Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here we are again with another video as you guys seen in the description. Today we're going to be painting this car with some Rust-Oleum. So as you guys seen in my previous videos, my brother's got this little 91 Civic and it's in pretty good condition. Yeah, there's a few things here and there that need to be fixed, but we're going to avoid that for right now. We're just going to go with a cheap paint job. So we're going to do the Rust-Oleum and some clear. And the plan is to make this thing look fresh again. Yeah, it's gonna have those little dings, but it ain't too bad to say that we really need to fix them. And just to make it quick, we decided to try this out. You know, you know, we've seen a lot of YouTube videos. There's a lot of, you know, good hype about it. So we're gonna give it a try and see if it's really worth it. So we pretty much have this car ready to go. We sanded it down, washed it down, and I'll put a time lapse now so you guys can see all we've done. So basically, after the time lapse, all we gotta do is tape it up and we'll be ready to paint. So here we have the car ready. So you guys can see all the excess plastic. It's all wrapped up. We got the whole windshield, the whole door panels. We took off the windows, got it all taped up. Got this whole back piece. My brother's taking the, the tail light holes. That way he doesn't get paint in the interior. And then we should begin to start spraying the rust -Oleum. So it should start looking pretty good. All right, guys. So we here we have this Cherry Red Civic. This is after 10 cans of Rust-Oleum paint. You guys can see the gloss. If you guys can see those spots there, we we did get a little bit more in certain spots, like here, and then this fender here got it pretty good. So what's happening is I'm sure there was some type of oil residue on there and since we didn't hit it with acetone or anything like that, that was the turnout we got, you know. Other than that, it turned out flawlessly. So you guys can see the reflection. So we're going to let it dry and here in a few days we're going to come back and hit it with clear. You know, definitely redo that, that fender and this little spot here. It's not too bad, but we'll take care of it. But all in all, this thing turned out real good. And unfortunately, we had a lot of little flaws, like I mentioned earlier. So we're getting rid of them now. We're gonna sand this down, smooth it down, give it another paint job. So we didn't, so that was kind of one of the biggest reasons why we didn't clear it, because we did see some flaws throughout the paint job process. If you guys can see, it's all wavy here. So we gotta come in here and, and sand it all down. We already went around and wet sand it all. So it should be ready to take some clear. So we're just gonna, you know, fix a few little flaws like we mentioned. Probably sand this down, give it another quick spray. That fender, this fender, and then we'll be ready for the clear. This thing's gonna look good. It's almost there. Oh, we'll get some clear now. We got to do another layer on here just to even it out a little bit better but it turns out this was a fail because since we had ended up sanding it if you guys can see right here apparently when we wet sanded all the grid just stuck to the paint 
and after we washed it, it wouldn't wash off. So basically, it seized into the other paint. And you know, we were trying to do that wet sanding just to try to help that clear bond. So you guys can see here, so you get streaks. It's probably because we did it under the sun and the paint was just hot. So I'm thinking that's probably why it happened. But it's throughout the whole car. You guys can see the hood, the hood's under the half, half shaded by that tree. But if you guys see here, you guys can see those specks there. That's basically wet sanding residue that just stuck to the paint. So now, you know, we didn't see it until we cleared it. So now it's under the clear. So it turned out to be almost a fail. See the bumper since we didn't wet sand these, it turned out good. But you know, the, the biggest reason why we wet sand was just try to get that, that clear to bond, but it kind of backfired on us. Now we pretty much have to do redo the whole car. But I think my brother said we should just leave it like this for now, just so he could drive it around. I mean, it looks better than it did. Well guys, here we have it nice and cleared. So you guys can see, it's pretty much dry now. It's, been, it's only been about an hour or so since we sprayed it. But the clear's already pretty hard to the point where we can start removing stuff. I mean, this process doesn't take too long. It's a matter of just making time for it. Basically in a, what, a day and a half, we, you could literally do this. I think two solid days, it could be done. Two if solid. If you have two, two full days for it, with no no pro procrastinating, it could be done, legit. No procrastinating, he said. He's the number one guy to do that. <laughs> but yeah, this thing turned out pretty good. Dude, <clears throat> that's fucking hell over spring. You know, in, in in my opinion, I, I wouldn't be happy with this. I would have redone it because the hood really shows a lot of it. And the clear, you know, enhances it because nice when it's nice and glossy and when we get rid, you know, wet sand all this orange peel and buff it out, it's gonna show the undercoat a lot more. And as you guys can see, like there, it's a big old mark. But I think next time we won't wet sand it. We'll probably just go straight to the, you know, to gloss right after we paint it just to make sure you know we get a better job done so we're gonna we're gonna take off all these plastics and roll it under the sun and show you guys one more last time and we'll end the video there I think it looks actually pretty nice under the sun. Nice cherry red Civic. Like I said, looks good from far, but far from good. <laughs> this thing, I mean, it definitely looks better because it's not pink anymore. Yeah. No, it, it, right here? Yeah. Perfection. You see, the only mess up we did was wet sanding it and letting it dry on top of it. If you avoid that, that step, you have a flawless paint job because all in all it, it laid pretty good you know for, for all the other imperfections that were bubbling up on the fenders and stuff other than that it turned out good you know right now we got a lot of orange peel but once we wet sand and level that out and polish it up i think this thing should turn out should turn out real good i mean it looks flawless now can't wait to see all the bumpers and everything on here
But yeah, guys, if you guys can are considering, you know, trying to restore your paint job, you know, it's a budget paint job for sure. And, you know, we only spend about 120 bucks and everything so far. You know, we might have to redo it for our fuck up, you know, wet sanding under the sun. But all in all, it turned out real good. You know, he's got to buy those two fenders. So, you know, either way, we probably would just redo it again. And we'll probably take our time, a lot more time next time. You know, this time we were we were a little bit rushed here and there. So, and then this guy pro procrastinating a lot. So, you know, holds us back a lot. <laughs> but other than that, you know, you know, this is a pretty easy project if you ask me. You know, yeah, I got a compressor and I sprayed it, but you could do that off of a can. I think you'd get the 2K can. So I'll put a picture of that 2K uh, clear coat you could buy and you could pretty much pull it all off. I've seen people on YouTube do it. But yeah, guys, we're gonna end the video here. I appreciate everybody watching. Consider subscribing and stay tuned to see what else we do to this Civic. You know, let's see if we re-spray it or just run it like that for a while. So we'll see. Until next time, guys. Peace.